Hi everybody, this is Kat Lubker with Instructional Tech Team and I'm going to take a few seconds here to get you through the Spheros Quick Start Guide. So to get started, first thing you need obviously is a Spheros. So go ahead and check them out from the library in the ESC. We've got about 10 of them for checkout, so we should have plenty for you to use in your classroom. Um, in order to use these, you can use a Chromebook or you can use an iPad. The app that you're looking for is called Lightning Lab. You do not want the Spheros app. Um, we suggest using Lightning Lab. When you go into that app, if it's your first time or you're just doing it for a demo, we're going to use continuing as a guest, but if you're a teacher, we highly suggest signing up and making your own account. From there, within Lightning Lab, they have plenty of activities that have already been created that you can share with your class and you can make classrooms for them. Um, after you've continued as a guest or, again, signed up and made your own account, you're going to get this screen right here which you're just going to start uh, get started, which is this little plus sign. From there, it's going to give you this screen where you get to type in the name for your very first program. Feel free to keep the name that's already there or have your students name it with something that you see fit. Um, once you've entered in that name, it's going to give you code that's already made. Um, but we don't have our robot hooked up yet. So the first thing you do is in this upper right-hand corner, there's a little button that says to tap it to aim your Spheros. When you tap that, it's going to bring you to this screen, and it's going to ask you to select which type of robot you're going to be working with. And we're going to be working with this first one here, the Spark Spheros. So you click this dot. Um, you'll then come to this screen right here, and it's going to ask you to double tap the robot and then go to your settings to pair it. So in order to double tap, this is what it's going to look like. You give it a firm double tap and then a light will turn on. From there, you're going to now go out. You're going to hit the home button and you're going to go out to your basic iSat iPad settings. Click on this icon or again, go to your Wi-Fi settings if you're on a Chromebook. Um, within an iPad, your settings are going to have a, it's going to start here on general, but you want to click up here a little bit higher on Bluetooth. You're going to see all the Spheros show up here that you could possibly pair with it. Now, if you're in a room with multiple Spheros or multiple students trying to do this, you need to realize that on Bluetooth, there are going to be multiple Spheros showing up. The suggestion is if you see this color, these little light bulbs right here will be a color on the Spheros, so blue, pink, green. It usually has something to do with this three-digit code that'll kind of help you figure out what color the robot's pairing with. If it pairs with a different one, that's okay. Just make sure that the student's device and the Spheros are paired so that they can actually do the coding for that correct robot. Once you've paired it, you're going to hit the home button. You're going to double tap it um, or go back out to wherever you have that Lightning Lab app, and you're going to come back into this block code. From the block code, again, now we're going to try to aim it again, which is that right-hand corner kind of um, steering wheel, and you're going to come to this screen. In order to aim it, you're going to take this blue dot, and you're going to kind of drive it around until you get this blue dot at the back of the spheros pointing kind of towards you. If you're standing behind it right here, then the blue dot will be pointing towards you. So again, take this little dot, steer it around until you get this blue dot pointing backwards towards you. Once you've done that, it's aimed, and you're going to tap in this gray section up here to get back to your block code. Um, in your block code, feel free, you can hit the start button just to see what would happen if you ran this code right here, these four lines of code, and what your robot would do. Um, but if you're ready to just get started, first you need to clear and trash all of those. So what you do is you hold down or long tap on one of those lines of code and you're going to drag it up to the trash can and that's the same if you're on an iPad or if you're on a Chromebook. Once you've deleted all of the lines of code, you're going to have just fresh to start. All of your things you can program are down here. Here within your first bit of action, we've started with a basic roll code. What you do is you hold down on one of these circles. So this first one actually looks like this and it allows you to set your time. The second dot is for speed and it allows you to set the speed for the roll. And then the third dot is for the heading, so what direction you want your robot to go. That's enough to get you guys started. Feel free exploring again with any of these actions and I hope you and your students have fun.